wasn't very convinced when I first got it, but look, it's won me over. Over this way. My vehicle for the Tassie trip is a Holden Jackaroo. This oh, is awesome. a new weapon. Gee, it's time for a day. It is, isn't it? Look, I didn't exactly want the Jackaroo, but apparently it was funny that Jillaroo Jess drives a Jackaroo. I'll tell you what, this is a pretty clean example of a Jackaroo. Yeah. The uh, owners of this one owned it for 18 years, so they've had it for a long time. I'll tell you something pretty cool about it, though. Yeah. Is they reckon it's only ever been off-road once, and guess where it's been? Tasmania? Tasmania. Yeah, right. It's destined for it. Oh, she's a local. <laughs> it's definitely the odd one out. It's a petrol, 3.2-litre engine. It's an automatic, and it's probably the most stock out of all of them. I think Mum will look good driving this. Look, it's got a bit of a home job body lift in it, but I had to do that before I took it to Razzler so they could fit all their custom bar work onto it. And it has made such a difference. They had to specifically make the bar work for the vehicle because how many people pimp their Holden Jackaroo? Now, Rob, tell me a little bit about Razzler. We've been around for oh, 10 plus years. I started at home just in our shed doing full drive accessories. We now have eight people full time and we just mainly manufacture full drive bar work, but we do do ute conversions and lots of other things as well. So how do people get in contact if they want a bar built by Razzler? Uh, just shoot us an email or give the office a call and uh, yeah, we'll get you in the line. This year, all the vehicles are running a GME XRS Connect UHF. Now, they are really cool. I personally love these. They come with an app that you can connect to the UHF with so many features. Radio's done, now on to the uh, next 7,000 jobs. The Razzler bar work is winch compatible, so we put a 17,000 pound Sherpa winch in there. I've never winched before, so this will be interesting. We've also installed Yakima roof rack and a basket on top of the jack. Turns out the jackaroo is a bit tougher than what I thought. Trying to drill through the sidewall to put the snorkel in is quite a job. With all the extra weight on the Jackaroo now, and I want to put big fat tyres under it, I'm going to need some better suspension. So we're heading into Tough Dog to get them to sort it out. Well, the Jackaroo is now getting its tyres changed. I think it's going to make a huge difference to it. I can't wait to see it when it's done. We're putting on 33 inch tyres from Maxxis with ROH rims. Here you go, Jess. Here's just a picture for you. <gasps> <laughs> Dakar approved. Or oh, proof, oh, proven, sorry. Dakar proven. Hey! Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> that looks so much better. Love it. Look, I wasn't sold when I first got the Jackaroo, but after seeing its transformation, I'm thinking it's up there with a chance. 